I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Frederick Bai. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am fabulous. I am fabulous. Thank you for having me here. Hey, it's a Thank good you, pleasure. It's a good I pleasure. Just, you know, I, I just finished doing yoga right before doing this session, so I, I always feel great after I do yoga. But yeah, you're anyway. charged, right? <laughs> you're charged, right? You're charged. He's charged. He's charged. Well, tell, tell us what part of the world are you in right now? I'm from Canada, um, south shore of Montreal uh, of Ca- in Canada. Yeah, I'm in the west, and uh, yeah, well, that's where I'm from. Yeah, I love that part of the world. Uh, you know, I love reading bios and seeing the the uniqueness that a person can communicate with it. I've had so many bios that I've read, right? So definitely some stick out. But um, I just want to read a part on this. Like I'll do the, just the two paragraphs, right? Amazing sure. audience, right? So this is Frederick, right? Hi, welcome to my about page. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to write a long, boring, detailed bio on my life. I'm going to make this short and sweet. So who am I? I'm a golden retriever mixed with chihuahua, mixed with basset hound and some poodle. And I love that. <laughs> you know, I love actually, that. Actually, actually, you know where, you know where I, I, I got that? But anyway, I cut you off. Go ahead. Keep no, going. you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I was just going to say, because I got that from, I love to read about business. And I love to read about, and I got that from a book. Um, it's called Sales Dogs. Sales Dogs. And the author compares different types of salespeople to different races of dogs and it's just an amazing sales book to be honest with you yeah. it's really, it's really thanks great for t- thanks for uh, checking that cool. in what's the name of it sales dog sales dogs yeah yeah, yeah. i definitely check that out hey well please do tell us which of your talents is responsible for us connecting oh uh, well i get, i'm a podcaster i'm a writer i'm a blogger i'm an e-commerce uh store owner Uh, I'm just a a creative entrepreneur and my passion is really self-improvement and I just love making other people happy, you know, and I I just love, you know, even, even when, when people buy like from my, my e-commerce store, they like just the fact that even it's a simple bracelet, I know that bracelet makes that person happy. Hmm. You know what I mean? And, uh, I think it's, it's just, that's what I love, man. It's, it's my motto is really purpose, passion, and love. And uh, I think that's my biggest talent. I think my voice is my biggest talent. My um, enthusiasm, like the way I express myself, I just need to express myself. You know, I'm a Scorpio and (laughs) uh, my Zodiac sign. And uh, apparently Scorpios are very deep and they're very, you know, uh, thoughtful and deep thinkers and all that. So it really represents me, I think. And Mm -hmm. uh yeah, I just I just enjoy what I, I just enjoy what I do, really. Yeah, you could definitely hear that. Who did you learn the skill of using your voice to help others build their confidence? Mm-hmm. Well, um, you know what? I, I have a particular journey uh, growing up. You know, my, my, my dream was really to be a wrestler and I really went through with it. And uh, I got to the WWE's uh, developmental territory back in 2005 to 2004 to 2006. And, uh, you know, there, I mean, just being a wrestler, you learn to express yourself because you have to talk on the mic and you have to you just have to learn to ex- express yourself. And I think I think that's where it started. Uh, also, I was always a reader. You know, I uh, from a young age, I really loved, uh, you know, Mother Teresa. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I really love like these are like, you know, big thinkers. And just people who have changed the world. I love, I love learning from these people. Yeah. And um, and with time, when I, I really started to uh, do my online thing, you know, becoming a creative entrepreneur, I I really it, I fell in love with podcasting. You know, podcasting. First of all, podcasting is good because it's easy to get into, and you know, it's fun to just talk to all these different people. Yeah. So I really, that, that's where it started. You know, that's where it comes from. Just my passion for self-improvement and my passion for, for just talking. I just love to express myself. Yeah, please share with us that quote by Mother Teresa about impact versus income. Impact versus, oh, this is not, uh, no, this, this is Kevin Cruz. 
Uh, oh, my apologies. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I know. Well, see, I think that when we're on our journey to success, sometimes we we let our, mm, you know, our hunger for, because you know, when we run a business, we have to make money, right? And it's easy to just do stuff for money. It's easy to try to, to let's say, to find a niche that, oh, you know, what's the wh which niche makes the most money? You know, it's really easy to do that. But to really look inside of yourself and to ask yourself, you know, what do I what message do I do I want to bring to the world? Like, what do I want to do? Um, and then you adapt your message to whatever audience you want to reach. That's another piece of, of cake. Mm. <laughs> and I think Mother Teresa, you know, oh, th I think that's where you. Yeah, that's you, where I got mixed up, right? Like you, you were giving the example of how the Kevin Cruz quote is applicable to Mother Teresa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because, you know, she, she, she didn't, she probably didn't even have a bank account. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And, and she, she died. I mean, she'll be remembered forever. She'll mm. be remembered forever. So, you know, I think it's a huge uh, influence. You know, I think it's a huge example of, you know, money, you know, you can be a billionaire and, and when you die, nobody, nobody will remember you, <laughs> you know, and, and you'll have somebody like Mother Teresa who probably didn't have a bank account and, she, you know, she'll be remembered forever. So for her message, you know, same yeah. thing, I think same thing for, you know, musicians or, you know, to me, it's like, okay, Michael Jackson died. Well, we won't necessarily rem remember that he's, he was a billionaire. What will, what we will remember is his music, what he brought to the world, his message. You know, yeah. that's just my, my opinion. Yeah, but, I agree. Uh, I agree. Like uh, coming straight off of well, one podcast before you and then um, our accountability groups that we run, right? Which is yours, which is your own unique real self accountability group. But not plugging the accountability group, but truly like we just came off of the conversation where one person was being... Like she, someone was suggesting that what she does is like, like, all right, so she's doing this 90 day goal where she's bringing happiness and someone suggested to her, hey, so where's the business part of that? Like you, is that a business goal or is that a personal goal? And I think it connects so much to what you are expressing. And um, mm -hmm. I really want to bring light to that as well, that it's really challenging to operate in the creative, right? In this world system, right? Because they're going to be naysayers. Um, like, where, how are you making money on that? But I do believe that it does make money eventually and yeah. happy money, if you would. Yeah. yeah, and it's called, yeah, it's like delayed gratification. Oftentimes I hear that a lot of, you know, I, I listen to a lot of entrepreneurial, you know, podcasts and, and uh, just, I, I study a lot. I love to study. So, you know, it, that's what it is. Oftentimes, it's we don't necessarily see the money right away. Sometimes it's it's a labor of love for a while. Yeah. But, and you know, when I say when I say that, you know, impact, you know, over income, I'm not saying that making money is bad or you should feel, I don't know, ashamed of of wanting to make money. You have to make money because you know you're you're running it's a business. System. Yeah. 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 And uh, but you know, it, I think underneath all of that, we should never forget our message. What's our message? You know, so it's like building a business around our heart, yeah. not necessarily around our money. You yeah. know, okay. and also I just want to say, you know, talking about impact, um, I think one of the biggest thing that happened to me this year was, you know, earlier this year I interviewed a musician. Geez, I can't, I can never remember his name. Right. Anyway, but he had he had he had Lyme disease, and he went to see John of God in Brazil. I don't know if you guys heard of him. But he's like a famous, you know, spiritual doctor. He doesn't have a doctorate degree, but he's a doctor. And um, what he did was, um, so anyway, I did the interview. And then a listener contacted me like uh, a few weeks ago. And he said how he had, a, he, he didn't tell me which disease he had, but I know, I know he was sick. And he told, he sim simply told me that, uh, he, he went to see you know, his family thanks me and that he did go see uh, John of God hmm. and uh, it changed his life, wow. you know, hmm. and it started from listening to my show. So hmm. that, I think that's, you know, that's huge. That's way more. Yeah. How that, do you quantify that? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. It's like, man, he messaged me on Facebook, you know, 
And it's like, uh, anyway, he didn't want to get into de into details, you know, because like, I asked him, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to, you know, he's like, no, 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 I don't want to talk about it, but I'll talk to you about it when I'm ready. <laughs> but uh, I just, that's just amazing. I think that's, that's, that's what I do it for, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And keep doing it. Hey, well, amazing audience. We are live with Frederick Bai. Hey, do check him out. He is the podcast host of the Frederick Bai show, right? Creative Magic Network, right? Uh, yep. Do check that out. Frederick, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Frederick, <laughs> what is your earliest childhood memory? Ah, man, her childhood memory, my earliest, uh, geez, man, just with my friends. I, w I had a lot of friends growing up. I just, I think wrestling, <laughs> <laughs> I love wrestling, man. Yeah. I remember Hulk Hogan slamming under the giant. I think that's just like, that was classic. Yeah. Um, and just, just, I just had a good childhood. Like I just had a lot of friends growing up. Uh, in Quebec City, um, yeah, that would be my earliest uh, memory. Yeah. So, how old do you think you were in that earliest childhood memory? When is it Andre <sighs> slamming Hogan, or is it Hogan slamming Andre? Ah, uh, four years old, four or five years old. Wow. Why do you think this memory is so clear? <sighs> Man, I don't know. I think I think it was like the moment that it was like that was a huge moment. Like wow, yeah. like Hogan slammed Andre the Giant, like Andre the Giant, <laughs> like. He was, like, he was huge, yeah. And that's like that made Hulk Hogan a legend, and I then Hulk Hogan right there became my hero. Wow. There you go. Wow. That's why. Wow. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I love the idea that at that age you connected not so much with the violence of what wrestling was, but the heart that was represented and what were the possibilities when you did go through and follow through with your passion uh hulk yeah. hogan is definitely that guy right like he's that raw guy right oh, yeah. and um to see that you are now um in your in your side, neck of the woods if you would that you're doing that that you you have definitely stand your ground uh you've and you complete what you're doing through as you said right it's passion purpose and love yeah. Um, so it's fascinating how that connects. Yeah, I, I think another memory, I think that's funny because, because I remember another memory. I remember like I was at my uncle's home and he had a huge Michael Jackson poster. I didn't know anything about Michael Jackson. I didn't even know what his name was Michael Jackson. And on, on the poster, he was he, it was like it was a laughter thriller. So it was like he was black with the red Coke and all that. Yeah. I remember thinking, who's I see that guy everywhere. Who's that guy? Like who's that? Who's that guy? I, why is he so popular? And uh, but it took a few years, and then later on, I saw his uh, dangerous uh, concert, and then and then that was it. That was it for me. Like I was a Michael Jackson uh, fan forever. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was. It. But I remember. I remember specifically that poster. Yeah. Like yeah. who's that guy? It's like you had the <laughs> eye for the creative, right? Like it, it's like creative connecting with creative, right? It's like yeah, who's oh, that guy? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you could be. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? From uh, at that time, man, I had a lot. At that time, maybe uh, Black or White. All right. All right. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Black or White. Because I, I really like, got into Michael Jackson on Dangerous Times. So 1990, All right, all right. Yeah. All right, my Village friend. Village was great, too, you know. But. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Well, we've arrived at our destination, Frederick. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to go pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Frederick? Yeah, sure. Frederick, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Oh, yeah, my son. Hmm. Are you married? Yep. Do you have other children? I have two kids. Okay. Boy and girl? Uh, Both. All right, two boys. No, 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 no. I have a boy and a girl. All right, all right. Do you believe in God? Yep. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yeah. Do you watch bit. TV for more than three hours a day? Uh, a day, no. How about three hours a week? Yeah, three hours a week, maybe, yeah. What I about, yeah. Yeah. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Um, It depends on the day. <laughs> it depends on the day. Uh, 
Yeah, it depends on the day. Sometimes I don't spend a lot of time. Sometimes I, I have to spend a lot of time. So. All right, all right. <laughs> Frederick, after 1,001 conversations in three months in 2016, I came up with a workbook. The name of it is called Yours. And it stands for your own unique real self. And my idea is as you answer questions that you get to your mission, your own unique real statement. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, the statement that represents Frederick By, what would you say that is? Mm, to elevate the spiritual well-being of humanity. Love it. Frederick, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Uh, yeah, sure. You can reach me at uh, frederickby.com. That's Frederick with a C, by like bye-bye, dot com. And uh, you can also, we have a free report right now if you're interested in the law of attraction and, uh, you know, if you want to learn more about it, if you want to know what not, how not to use a law of attraction. And uh, I think it's a cool, free, short report that you can read in under 30, 40 minutes. It's fast. It's, it's quick. All you got to do is go to frederickby.com. That's frederick with a C, by like bye slash purpose. And uh, that's it. Love it. Frederick Bay. Hey, again, this was a great pleasure. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Ah, my pleasure. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.